During 11 years working in the biotechnology and pharmaceutical industry, Ros Martin developed a keen interest in the science behind anti-aging. Ros became interested in developing products that adopted a more holistic approach to the job of turning back the clock. Hello Dragons, my name's Ros Martin and I'm the founder and developer of a range of anti-aging health supplements called Medcold Derma. I'm here today to seek investment of €80,000, your expertise, for a 10% equity stake in my business. As we age, the skin goes through a number of changes. Over time, we lose our collagen, which is our connective tissue and supports the structure of the skin. A substance called hyaluronin in the cells is responsible for hydration and also performing the hydrodynamics of the skin, unfortunately declines. And free radicals from the environment can cause premature aging. Having worked for over 11 years in the biotechnology and pharmaceutical industry, and with a personal interest in anti-aging medicine, I have identified a niche and a demand within the Nutri-Cosmetic market for a product that is not only effective, but 100% natural. As a result, we now have a full range of anti-aging skin supplements with a unique formulation that has been scientifically proven to address those three key aging factors. We've been in the domestic market now for over 18 months. We have in excess of 250 pharmacy and health store accounts, and our year one turnover has been in excess of 100,000 euro. I look forward to taking your questions. Thank you. Roz speaks with authority about the science behind MedCall, and her company's figures seem the right side of healthy. Barry wants to know a bit more about her professional history. Hi, Roz, I'm Barry. Hi, Barry. You mentioned you were in the biotech and pharma industry. What exactly did you do in those industries? I first started working in the UK for two of the large multinationals. I started off in sales and marketing. I then um, was offered a position in the Middle East, in Dubai, to manage an oncology and narcotic portfolio for the United Arab Emirates for another multinational pharmaceutical company. Hi, Roz. My name's Gavin. Hi, Gavin. So this is anti-aging. What clinical research stands behind it uh, to uh, support that claim. Okay, so the premise of the product, when we say it's anti-aging, the formula that are in there help to address some of the aging factors. So the antioxidants play a role in slowing down the aging process. And if we look at the two major components of the skin, which is the collagen and the hyaluronin, they unfortunately decline with age. Around about 27, 28, you see a marked decline of one to 1.7% a year. So what we're simply trying to do is we're not trying to overproduce collagen or hyaluronin, we're just trying to replenish the decline. And so that in itself makes it anti-aging because it has an aesthetic indication, so it has a cosmetic function. So Roz, what makes your product uh, different from the hundreds of anti-aging products that are out there on the market? The, the USP for this product is it actually gets the body to make its own endogenous collagen rather than dose dumping collagen into the stomach. So the premise of the product is it actually helps the body produce its own collagen and that's far more effective than swallowing collagen. So that's the USP for the product and obviously you've got your hyaluronin in there which helps boost the hydration levels in the skin. Thanks Roz. So everyone is now totally up to speed on the whole collagen replenishment situation. Time for Eamon Quinn to check out the merchandise along with his fellow dragons. Can we have a look at the product, Yes, Yeah, sure. That's the man one. Thanks, Ross. Yeah. So I take, what, one a day? Two a day. Two a and day. That, that box supplies you with a month supplement. I can ask the cost of it. It's 40 euro per unit, recommended retail price. Uh, Roz, what would you hope a dragon would bring to the party here? Um, because, you know, you present very well, you're absolutely, you seem to be on top of your subject. Mm -hmm. um, what would you expect a dragon would do, apart from just money? Okay, I still need distribution contacts, I need those leads, um, assistance with tactical negotiations, um, and also just bringing the business globally. Okay. Roz, we both know the, the other market leader in this area. You know, I've seen your list of in mm. ingredients and I'm quite impressed you've Coenz MQ10 there. What is the difference that you would feel that would take it away from the other brand? So the research that we conducted was to demonstrate that the product actually switched on the mechanism in the body to make its own collagen, and that's called a fibroblast. So it is a very different composition and it, it has a different mode of action compared to the competitor. 
Okay, and go through your projections for me. Sure. Uh, year two, we have a projected turnover of 350,000 with a net profit of 72,000. For year three, we have a turnover projected at 700,000 euro with a net profit of 194,000. And year four, we have projected 1.2 million with a net profit of 289,000 and a margin of 24%. So I'm sure some people looking at this will think it's kind of hard to believe. It sounds too good to be true. Mm. Okay. Um, the product does, it has been scientifically proven to increase collagen in the skin and in the joints. To date, we have five studies and we're looking at conducting a clinical trial. So there has not been a clinical it trial? It started, but we don't have the data yet. Okay. All right, so um, without data, I'm not willing to invest. I'm out. Okay, thank you. Roz's first rejection comes from technology supremo, Barry O'Sullivan. But you feel that the owner of a major pharmacy chain might be a better fit for her product. How much is the, um, the goods to produce? Five euro. Five euro? Mm -hmm. With a 72% gross margin profit. And you're selling into pharmacies at or health food stores? We at? sell straight to the distributor for 17 euro. So what are you going to use the 80 for? We'd like to uh, use the investment for uh, 35,000 for AMP for advertising and promotion, 20,000 for developing our existing markets, and the other 25,000 as working capital so that we can finance the orders. And to date, we've sold 4,500 units in the Irish market, 700 units in the UK, and 250 units in Portugal. The order for the UAE is sitting on a pallet. It's ready to go, and that's 25,000 euros worth. Thank you. Uh, Roz, I think you're a great ambassador for your company. I just, as I'm considering it here, I don't think I'll be able to help you much in terms of the specialist areas that you're looking for. Um, and I think, you know, unless there's a really strong scientific claim, I'd be a little bit concerned about it. So... For that reason, I'm out. Okay, thank you, Amos. Uh, Ros, I don't feel I'm able to invest at this stage. It's a bit too early, so I'm thank out. You, so suddenly, there's just two dragons left. The three well-preserved gentlemen who dropped out had their reasons, but it seems Gavin Duffy may have thought of another one. We don't know if there's any side effects yet. Okay. Um, we've con conducted a number of safety studies. For the first time now in this pitch, you've, you've gone silent there. No, no, I haven't. No, yeah. we've conducted a number of safety studies um, and um, obviously lab tests that have carried out by the manufacturer. And so you've got full heavy metals, you've got microbes, you've got all of those standard safety tests that need to be done for a product like this in order for it to be approved. Roz, my, you know, <laughs> I love the beauty business. Um, uh, it, it's probably because it's less restrictive. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's just not my, my area and things are going very nicely in the beauty area for me. So uh, I'm going to say I'm out. Okay, thank you, Gavin. I'm really on the fence, Ross, okay? I could be making the biggest mistake of my career. But there's too many uncertainties for me, Ross. There's, just a, there's a lot of things just clicking in my head in terms of um, how the competitors have actually sold with a lot of, of training and, and whatnot and free sampling of an expensive product like this. I just think without the clinical data, I'm gonna have to bow out. Okay, thank you for your time. And so Roz just fails to land her investment but leaves behind a lot of fans. She was just out of the park good. Yeah, oh, she was superb. She was just Certainly superb. Certainly stuff. Look, it could, it could fly.